Good afternoon Floss Tube. It's Lisa here from Shady Tree Stitches and I'm here for my weekly cross stitching update. Thank you all for joining me again. I do really appreciate it. I loved all the comments I got last week when I asked for your help um, with, my, with my designing and I really appreciate the feedback. So it looks like I'm going to be going ahead and probably launching it this week. So I have decided on a name for my designing and I will um, get it all registered and you'll have to wait till next week. So sit on the edge of your seats waiting for that. I've got a couple of friends who are already stitching some model stitches for me, which is really nice and I really appreciate them doing that for me. So this week has been a really good stitching week. It's funny because I didn't feel like it was a really good stitching week as I was going through the week. I had to do lots of things. I started to work for my husband's business so that took a lot of my time when I would normally have been stitching during the day but I still managed overall since I last filmed to do 5,560 stitches this week so I'm really happy with that. Um, there's many 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 pieces I worked on this week and I, I've actually felt like it's too many pieces this week it's like oh changing 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 um, which is funny because Magical Stitches homework was actually just to work on one piece. So that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, really, really not sure. I guess it was all Cheryl's groups because there was one, two, three, four, five. There were six different prompts for her. Plus I was finishing up all my February commitments. So I have now finished all my February commitments and it is only the 23rd of February, I think. Um... So yeah, I really enjoy working hard, getting all done. Um, the only thing I've got left to do in February will be my focus point for today, which is my little block of Hawk Run Hollow, my own personal goal to do one block a month. So that's something I, I must finish before the end of this, this month, which is on Saturday. So it's nearly a whole week. So what have I been stitching? I feel like it's almost, what haven't I been stitching? Um, I... After I saw you guys last, I worked on my We Are Humans a bit more. So if you remember last week, it looked like here. And I've actually gotten to the point now where I dig it out. I'm going to show you the whole thing today. Sorry, it's crumpled. But look at that. So I have got to the point where I've only got two more sections to go. I've got to go between the French Revolution and the 1950s. Sort of I love, love, love this piece. It has been awesome to do. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can knock that one over soon. So I really do recommend these ones, the Stitch Longs from Clouds Factory. They are great, but it's a huge piece. As you can see, I'm gonna go the right way. I can't see through it. Yeah, really, really cool. So yeah, working on these ones down here. That's what I did this week. So many cute little people. I'm not going to bag them while I'm on video but I am going to just toss them over on the side because my life is getting rather, rather full of things. So that's one of my scavenger hunt pieces um, and I had to finish that off I think for magical stitches Thing, 100, 100 stitches on something with a face or 200 stitches with more than three people on it. So that finished off last week's homework. Actually, I will put it away in this bag because it's bags on top and that will keep it tidy. This is a nice little project bag that I got from Silks for You at the retreat. A little Hogwartsy sort of one. Okay. The next thing I stitched on was my linen and thread sampler. Now this one was my daily 30 for um, the week for Shell's group. Remember, Shell's group is a closed group, 30 minutes cross stitches and journal group. Um, and she's actually given us a bit of a change for this week coming. And we don't have to do a daily 30, which I'm going to be a bit sad about because I like doing my daily 30. I'm still doing the embroidery.com stitch 30 minutes a day in February challenge. Um, I'm actually stitching an hour a day for that. So that's right, I can change projects, I just won't have a piece. So previously, my linen threads looked like this. And now, 
you can see I've got, apart from the initials, all of January and February done. So this is on a piece of random hand dyed Ada, 16 count, that I, um, I dyed. And I'm quite liking the way it's looking, it's very different. So yeah, we'll see what March brings next week. So that is the linen and threads. And this one belongs in a beautiful bag, courtesy of the wonderful stitching button. So I have a nice project bag and stitching button there. That was followed by Do Re Mi. Do Re Mi, I um, managed to do, and thanks to Beth Ann for her suggestion in the promo video last week, Virtual Stitches, that to do it with something that had a sun in it. Because my Do Re Mi Do has a sun on it. So I'm up to doing La, and that's what it looks like. So previously, it looked like this here. And I worked on Do Re Mi for about 500 stitches to get it to look like this. So you can see I'm up to La, but I finished off So and all the letters at the bottom. Really, really, really happy with how this one's going, and I feel like I need to put this one a bit higher in the um, in the rotation pile because it's um it's a beautiful piece. And I'd like to um, get onto that. So that's my Do Re Mi. I also had to work on, I didn't want to, I really didn't want to work on this at the moment, my 12 Days of Christmas for something that reminded me of Lord of the Rings. Um, so my 12 Days of Christmas, I did 306 stitches on, previously looked like this. And as you can see, I was just down the bottom of the ladies dancing but now I've done a whole bunch of borders because I really wasn't feeling like working on it so I just did a whole bunch of borders for my 306 stitches so that's pretty much the bottom of the pattern it is a beautiful piece I do like it it's just that it's Christmas and I'm not in the mood for Christmas it's the middle of February um oh yeah and here this is what the whole thing looks like see so I've done these borders down here. So we look at there. It's, it's a work in progress. Um, this one got really... Everything's getting muddled up now. This one's another one of my slips for you bags from the retreat. So nice to be able to get some beautiful bags and start to keep my projects in something a little bit nicer than just a sort of plastic envelope. So, oops, I'm losing everything over here. Chaotic disorder today. The balance is very unbalanced. My, my plan is so fat and heavy that it... I managed to get some stitches done for um, stitching the first book, stitching through the books in Magical Stitches, as well as contributing to the team tasks of Toy Story and Animation Studio. Very pleased to say that we are um, through Animation Studio in Boardwalk. Um, still working on Toy Story, but hopeful we might get there in the next day or two. Um, really want to knock that over because I know there's more things coming. Really, really, really enjoying the collaborative stitching. I, I do, as much as I am a bit competitive at times, I do like the collaboration. All right, so after the 12 days, I worked on my family patchwork sampler, which previously looked like this here. And this one is really starting to shape up. So I'm way behind on this one. But this one's the one I'm using the Silks For You on, and it's gorgeous. I've actually made a big error, but I'm not gonna tell you where at the moment. I'm just gonna work out a fudge for it because I'm not unpicking where I made my error. So that's what I look like so far, which is great. I need to get some more of those um, things that hold all the thread, the catch-alls. So I've just ordered some of them for this week. So I should have them for next week for my haids and the big projects because it is very frustrating not being able to put things in. And this one belongs in one of Taryn's bags to use their handmaids. It's a bigger size. Um, so I really, really enjoy that. 
Um, so I did 315 stitches on that one and that was because it was a piece that I had to wait to start because I had so many starts in January I couldn't start everything so I had to just wait till February to start that one. I also did some of these for the monthly ones but I'm just going to do the weekly ones. So then that moved me on to Alice. Alice, my beautiful little lady there. She previously looked like this. And I worked on Alice for 300 stitches, 317 stitches because it was a piece for a birthday start. Now I don't have any birthday starts yet, I will have this year, but this one was um, one I started from Belinda, a gift from Belinda whose birthday was this week. And also um, Alice looks like she's wearing a pretty party dress. So that is where Miss Alice is up to. Now Alice lives in a Miller's bag. These $5 Miller bags are fantastic project bags. So if any of you on Australia want a good project bag idea that doesn't cost you a fortune, go to Miller's. $5 drawstring bag. I mean, it's not hugely sturdy, but it's plenty sturdy enough for sausage. All right, so after Alice, I moved on to working on my Magic Animal Kingdom bookshelf on my Hade. Previously, he looked like this, that little gorilla. So I worked on him, the Animal Kingdom. He was he was my thousand stitches for magical stitches. But I also did him for the bonus for Sherl because he has a frog and we had to do a frog. And climbing on a bookshelf just here, one of these ones, is a little green tree frog. So I haven't got to him yet, but he's there. So that's where I'm up to. It's really nice to get to this brown colour and start to do something different. So it's starting to look like something. That's just over a page, that area there. So yeah, a thousand stitches, slightly over a thousand stitches on on my Animal Kingdom bookshelf to get him looking like that. So yeah, really, really pleased with how he's going. Then, oh, I'll put my book on the lap now. After my Animal Kingdom, I moved on to working on my big red ship of the life. And this was to um, actually to finish off one of the prompts for Hawaii um, in Semi Sane. So you had to do 5,000 stitches on anything, done that, and 1,000 stitches on something to do with the beach, 1,000 stitches on something to do with waves. Um, so this was my waves because I stitched 1,000 stitches. On the waves so that's what I've done is basically half the width of the piece so yeah I'm looking forward to that and I'm thinking this Ada 16 count Ada that I got a bolt of I mean it's a lovely dusty gray blue color but it might be nice to dye so I'm going to investigate dyeing that so that it can actually look a bit more fancy um, not this one obviously because I've started it but I'm going to try I've got so much of it left that I'm going to try doing some dyeing on that so let's see what the, the blue blue grey base does with the dyes so watch the space for that too lots of things coming depending on my time and my motivation my non-stitching stuff might be getting a bit of a pause for a bit now that one is just in a little pencil casey A4 sort of size envelope that I got from Daiso and yeah, from lots of stationery shops. But again, just a nice little sort of sturdy, sturdy bag to keep it in. Then I did a bit of work on my, so I did 508 stitches on that one, sorry, on my fairy tale, Once Upon a Fairy Tale bookshelf. And this one I worked on, I haven't put the right numbers on there. I've done more stitches than it says. Um, I've done about 481 stitches previously looked like this and I know that because I actually did two lots of stitching for it last night now this one is one of the first pieces I started stitching for a new group I've joined which is called myth and magic stitch wars if you're someone who likes stitching for a purpose and you're a little bit competitive and you like to do things but you don't like to be told what to do um, I suggest joining myth and magic stitch wars you can become a villager there's 10 clans that are competing to try and be the victorious clan. 
I belong to the group called the Halflings. So we're a little bunch of hobbits running around with um, uh, Sammy Joe, Sarah from Our Kitchen, Kitchen Kingdom, and Harriet from um, Stitching, Stitch by Stitch Recovery, and Rita Marie from Norway um, for Rita Marie's Stitching Adventures, I think, is her floss tube. Um, so yeah, we've got five, five keen floss tubers in our group who are really excited about doing this, this work together. So we have to do our stitching to get ingredients for spells. Then we cast an attack spell or a healing spell to either attack another clan or to recover from one that attacks us. So if you're a villager, you can just stitch and you can stitch anywhere from 50 to 1,000 stitches a day. And there's different ingredients. So you might do 500 stitches and say, and this won't be the exact thing because I haven't memorized it, but you know, here's 500 stitches. Can I please get beetle toes? And then the person who's running the game will give you a picture of beetle toes and you can give them to us. So it's pretty cool. All right, so anyway, I did 481 stitches on this one. Again, that finished another prompt for Hawaii of a whip with more than 30,000 and something stitches. Um, I did basically all this, this greenery. Lots of this greenery in this section coming up. So yeah, really starting to look cool and starting to look like something. All right, and then the last one that I stitched on of just normal stitching um, was I got that far in Hawaii and I went, well, I've only got one prompt to go. And I decided to do my Hogwarts crest, which previously looked like this here, to represent string, because there's some swirls at the top that represent the, the houses, and they look like they could be made out of string to me. So, see these swirls? They look like they're a bit stringy. This is where I'm at now with my Hogwarts. A thousand stitches I did on that yesterday. Yesterday. Had a great day yesterday, but it was all block color. It was really easy. So that's where my Hogwarts crest is up to. Um, the next one of this coming cross stitch pattern comes out in a few days. Uh, choose your own adventure. Who knows what we're going to be doing. I'm still way behind in the border, but that's okay. I get there. Um, I'm way behind in this one too, but at least you get the sort of shape of it. I can continue on now. I can see what it is. Um, but really good for fast, fast stitching challenges. So I did my thousand on that. The other piece I stitched on is one of mine, which um, I knew I forgot something. I didn't have a handy picture. So bear with me, please, while I dig out the picture to show you. It's me logging into my tablet. As I said, I'm planning to release these this week, maybe start up an Etsy shop. So if anyone's interested in, um, in buying them, then you'll be able to, which will be pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, oh, not that one. No, wrong, wrong one. Now I got off the page. Um, as I said last, last week, I have started doing a series of the months of the year for um, Australia and for the Southern Hemisphere. It's not just Australia, New Zealand will definitely appreciate it too. Um, and in fact, my April design, which I haven't shown yet, it's getting model stitched at the moment, features uh, an Anzac Day theme. But I did some stitching on August. August is shearing time, the start of shearing season in Australia. So I had a homework where I had to stitch on some sheep. So I decided to move, jump ahead to August so I could work on these little sheepies. I'm really happy with how these are going. My model stitches are enjoying stitching them. They say that surprisingly large number of stitches on them, but because it's all block colors and I've purposely done it as, as the first one, so it's accessible for beginner stitches, just blocks of color. There's no back stitch, no anything else. So here is where I'm up to. Look at that cute little sheepy. So my my August gave me basically about 324 stitches to get just the little pathway and one and a bit of sheep. So yeah, so I'm very excited. So hopefully um it will all be released this week and I'll be able to talk about it officially. That was all my stitching. So many pieces. So many pieces. He's hoping this week won't be as many pieces, but um, don't really like my chance of it. As I said, Cheryl's released homework that's due the 13th of March. 
it's only 200 stitches each one which is nothing so I'm doubling them because you have a chance to double may even revisit some of these because I can still double the last week's homework I don't know we'll see but I did get a haul a little bit of haul came in the mail um, I got three things two I was expecting one was a total random surprise okay so the first thing I got I'd seen Sammy Jo using these and these are just plastic thread like sorters for your pieces cardboard ones are very flimsy when you put all these on so I figured I'd get a set of these to try just got them off um, I don't remember it's Aliexpress or eBay and they weren't too expensive each but they're really you can see they're quite thick and sturdy so I figure I'll just write them the number or whatever on in a sharpie and um, be able to enjoy using them for things particularly because I'm now doing my designs as well and then I got my silks for you beautifully packaged gorgeous little bag as always and this is the continuation of the the um, club where you get the different numbers so this one is PR number one 92 136 and 135 so we've got some beautiful purples and greens there these threads are just the bomb they are the best if you have not tried to sort of it for you you need to do it and Joe and Jamie who run it are really nice ladies and bend over backwards to help you so I'm very excited because they're coming to visit my stitchy group in May so I'm going to save up some money for that then the last thing I got is a piece of fabric and I am expecting some fabric but this is a piece from Colour Cascades and this is a piece beautiful color it's a piece that i ordered for the color the fabric of the month in august just like to say it's now the middle of february in august i ordered the color of the month 28 count lagana and now this one's a fat quarter so really 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 stunning piece and in fact i think i've already found a piece for it i was planning to start the reader by joan elliott sometime and i didn't have the right fabric but i think this is going to be perfect for it so it might get progressed straight to it. So thank you very much for my piece of fabric that I'd forgotten all about in all those months. Um, but I really appreciate getting it. And it's beautiful, soft, beautiful work. It's almost worth the wait. So nice work. So that's my whole, so that was my week of stitching. Um, as I said, my week this week is going to be focused mostly on the Myth and Magic Stitch Wars. I need to stop filming this, get the video up, so I can actually um, get stitching because I have lots of ingredients to make. I managed to make four things yesterday, which was really helpful. Um, but if you're interested in joining, then yeah, look on Facebook, Myth and Magic Stitch Wars. Join the group and you just become a villager and you can just stitch for whoever you want. There's lots of cool people in different clans. So feel free to check us out. I'm not affiliated other than I'm a competitor. Um, as usual, virtual stitches is plodding along nicely. I've overcome the issue we were having recently. So if you are interested in joining virtual stitches because you'd like to sit and stitch while you talk to people in real life, even though it's through a computer screen, um, then I'm not sure if you can find us yet, but you can always message me um, or leave a message on Facebook or on um, YouTube. So thanks again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I realized that this is my last video in season one because next week is going to be the commencement of my second year of Floss Tube. A whole year has gone by. I cannot believe it. And so it's been 58 videos with this one. Um, yeah, so that's more than one a week. Uh, pretty cool. So thank you for putting up with me for the first year. And I hope you come back to watch the second season. Happy stitching.